Okay, so the sun is shining, the birds are singing. I think it's safe to say that spring is here. And it's finally time to take some of these babies out in the garden because broad beans especially have been growing like crazy for the past two or three weeks and I have hardened them off. I have uh, set them outside for a couple of days for an increasing number of hours and I think they'll do just fine. So let me show you exactly how big they've gotten. I just want to say I am super thrilled with how my grow lights have been working so far. These guys have been thriving in here. They are three weeks old and they have been growing super tall. I could have grown them. Typically when you grow beans, they say that beans hate having their roots disturbed. So you can either grow them inside peat containers, which supposedly break down, but not really, they don't really break down as well. And um, what I've done in the past with regular beans was sewing them inside toilet paper rolls, which break down just fine, or inside bigger pots like this one because they take up a lot of space. The roots are uh, growing really fast. But this time, I've seen other people do it, so I decided to try growing uh, broad beans inside regular module trays, like this one, really tiny trays. And I can't believe how much growth I got from a tiny tray, because if you see, they only have this much soil. I mean, <laughs> they are root bound and they are, it's high time that I move them outside. But look, they're, they're just fine. So don't be discouraged to uh, grow them inside trays. I've done this because I don't have a lot of space on my shelves. So just imagine what would have happened if, I've grown, if I had grown uh, 30 of these cups on my shelves. I just wouldn't have space for everything. Okay, so now it's time to finally go outside and talk about spacing and growing tips for broad beans. <laughs> so my husband is building a raised bed today. So if you're hearing all kinds of noises, that's what's happening, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, let's go plant some broad beans. So broad beans don't need very nutrient rich soil. In fact, the less compost you give them, the uh, better they'll, they'll work to get nitrogen into the soil because if you give them too much compost, they will become lazy. This is why I chose this bed because it's in a shadier part of the garden and I haven't amended it with a lot of compost. They also do well in all kinds of soil. My soil is crumbly and nice on top, but it's really hard. Um, if I dig in, I, it kind of stops here. So I have a lot of clay and rock in my native soil. So what I'm going to do is transplant them in rows and I'm going to do a long row this way because the sun comes from that way and it sets in the back and since they grow kind of tall I don't want them to shade the smaller plants that I would plant in this bed. So let's see how we would go about this. So what I'm going to do next is poke holes uh, about 8 inches away. You can space broad beans 6 to 8 inches away and I'm going to put them in really deep. So I took this stick, I guess, uh, and put a rubber on top to see how deep I want to go. And I'm going to do two rows and I'm going to explain later why I chose to place them and space them like this. So now all we have to do is simply carefully displace the beans from their modules and pop them in deep, about 
this deep and cover them with soil. Now, don't worry, the stems won't rot. In fact, most of my seedlings that I will transplant, I will plant very deep so that they become very wind resistant and hardy. We're planting the beans pretty far apart because when they grow, they uh, release these little side shoots from the base, from here, which makes them bushy when they are mature. So if you give them enough space to develop, then it will be easier to harvest and spot uh, all the beans that are forming. And if you're putting them too close together, then it will be just a, a bushy mess. Just a quick reminder, if you're enjoying this video and learning from it, please give a like and subscribe to my channel. It really helps me out. Work is done. Broad beans are in the ground in this long row. Now, I chose the long row just for the ease of managing these broad beans because uh, they can grow pretty tall. So what I plan to do is tie them up just like peppers. I would put a post every meter or so and then tie strings that would keep the broad beans inside just for ease of picking because you can really plant them however you wish. If you want to do a section, you can do that, but then you have to reach in the, reach in the middle of the raised bed. Now for care, you have to, uh, you don't really have to water them that much. You don't really have to do anything because they're frost resistant. They don't need a lot of care. But by the time late May, beginning of June rolls around, it's aphid time. And broad beans can be affected by these horrible black aphids that we all know and hate. And supposedly if you just snip the uh, top off the plant when the plant is mature so not when it's growing then supposedly the aphids won't have anywhere to land and they will, will stay away i don't know i think i think aphids can land pretty much anywhere so there's that aphids can definitely affect your crop and stunt your plant uh, and another thing you should watch out for is rust uh, when uh, orange spots appear on black on the broad beans leaves but you can't really do anything about rust so otherwise they're pretty hardy they're frost resistant you don't need to water them you just need to watch them grow and enjoy your broad beans in June Thanks so much for watching, sending you lots of love from Transylvania, Romania and until next time, happy gardening my friends!